Hello, my name is David Voiles, and today I'm here to discuss TypeScript. TypeScript is a strongly typed language that compiles down to JavaScript. Now, if you're already familiar with something like JavaScript or even C Sharp, you'll feel right at home here. Uh, those two languages are what I spend most of my day doing, so naturally this was a great combination of the two. Now, there are three benefits, at least to me initially, that are apparent when I'm using TypeScript. The first of which is type safety. Later on, it's easier to debug. And then finally, I have IntelliSense in JavaScript, finally. So in terms of type safety, JavaScript is a dynamically typed or loosely typed language. Now, what that means is I can instantiate and create things at any point that I want, but that comes with some drawbacks. So JavaScript is also compiled. Um, that's how we have things like the eval keyword. But really, what happens is during interpretation, that is as my program is being run, runtime, that's when most of my errors and warnings start to become apparent and thrown out to me. So what if I had the ability to kind of save time and uh, be forewarned about a lot of these issues beforehand? Sure, you can do that with things like um, ESLint or JavaScript Hint or Linters, which will help out quite a bit, but you still don't have that strongly typed dynamic of it. Now, with strongly typed languages, I can actually declare the type of object that I'm passing in. So for example, when I was at a previous employer, we are working on a framework, and I jumped in about three or four months into the project, and in some of the functions that we had in JavaScript, they were accepting things like 10 and 11 parameters, which is quite a bit, but to make things worse, they weren't declaring what kind of type to be expecting. And by that I mean um, they would have a parameter by the name of rating. Now is rating a float, or is rating a string? I don't know. So what I'll commonly do in my own JavaScript code is I will prefix my variables with the type that I'm expecting. So for example, f rating will notify the next developer that I'm looking for a float. s rating will notify the developer that I'm looking for a string. Well, with something like TypeScript, that's not even an issue because when you're creating these functions and variables, you're declaring what type they are. So now I would have something like um, rating colon string so that all the developers know that it's going to need a string for that parameter. Even better, the TypeScript file won't even compile if it notices that I'm trying to pass in something else for that function. It'll actually just give me a warning right there instead of waiting for the whole project to be put together and then have this issue come up at runtime. Uh, later on, this can become very, very unwieldy, especially as some of my projects start to grow and I work with several developers across the world. So with a uh, loosely typed language, if you're not very strict about the way that you're coding, and this is the same for um, strongly typed languages, even with type safety, um, things can become very, very difficult to create. So uh, later on, this can become easier to debug if I have type safety across the board. Even better, this TypeScript project or file is spitting out both TypeScript and JavaScript. So the JavaScript is actually what's getting read inside the browser, and then I'm going to debug, I can see my JavaScript file side by side with my TypeScript file. And you notice that they look awfully similar. I also get things like public and private members, which sure you can already do in a pseudo way in JavaScript, but now we have it for real. Um, we also have classes, which are obviously part of the ECMAScript 6 or JavaScript 2015 spec, but now they are built into TypeScript as a whole. In JavaScript, they're really just syntactic sugar that's there. Um, uh, finally, I get things like IntelliSense. So if you're a .NET developer or using something like C++ or C Sharp, you're already very familiar with IntelliSense. So as I start to write a function um, or, and I want to see what properties or methods are available to it, as soon as I hit that dot operator, they'll pop up. Well, in JavaScript, some IDEs or text editors will kind of try to look ahead and guess as to what you're doing there. So they'll throw out some options, but often they're just throwing everything, including the kitchen sink at you, which can become very, very difficult. Um, Whereas something like uh, TypeScript, you know what's going to be included because there are what's called type definitions for several of the files that you're working with. Now, type definitions are strongly typed versions of some of the most popular frameworks and libraries that you're working with. You can look on a website like Definitely Typed or Typings, to see how to get some of them, and I also have a tutorial for that as part of the series. And with this, I will now have IntelliSense for my TypeScript files. And again, this is all doing nothing more than exporting or spitting out JavaScript in the end. 
So I'd love to hear about how some of you are using this on your projects. I'm still somewhat new to it. I've been aware of it for several years now, but I'm really starting to dive into it in some of my projects now too. So if there's anything else you'd like me to cover, feel free to reach out. You can find my blog at davevoils.com or find me on Twitter at davevoils. Thank you.